Hi, so as you guys may or may not know, the brand new Princess Peach game, Princess Peach Showtime, releases today on Nintendo Switch. And believe it or not, this is not the very first Princess Peach solo game. It's not even the second Princess Peach solo game, if you remember Super Princess Peach on the Nintendo DS. No, there is actually three of these games, and the very first one released in 1990 as a wrist game. The wrist game! Now I know what you're thinking, Pearl, this doesn't fucking count, but I fucking, why, why not? Like, a lot of people consider Luigi's very first video game to be Mario Bros. released as a Game & Watch, so I feel like it makes sense to consider this, and I like to consider all aspects of a franchise's history, and I... I don't know. I feel like this is this is a, a cool little, you know, I, I like I like to say that this is this is like a trilogy. You know, I, I think it's funny. So yeah, let's let's look at this uh this original Princess Peach game. Back in the 80s, Nintendo made these things called Game & Watches, and by the 1990s, they were still releasing these, but they were more like promotional things, like in this case it was released as a McDonald's toy, likely to promote Super Mario World, which was coming out around this time. And there's actually a lot of these, and they have a lot of really cool designs. Um, I actually really like the look of some of these, <laughs> they're really cool. This game in particular is actually called Princess Toadstool's Castle Run in the US and Princess Peach's Castle Run in Japan. Because in Japan she was called Peach and in the West she was called Princess Toadstool at this time. This was 1990. In the game it looks like you're, it's kind of like a Temple Run, uh, Subway Surfers kind of game. You know, um, you could pop this in like the corner of your video for like, you know, them ADHD havers for me. Yeah, and even the art on the box is actually different depending on which region you've got the toy in. Um, in Japan, it actually seems to use this artwork from Super Mario Bros. 3 of Princess Peach, where Luigi's, um, I, I guess, grabbing her and running away, and Toad is there? I, I don't really know what's going on with his hand. What, what the fuck? But in, in this artwork, it's edited, so it's just Princess Peach. However, in the American version, uh, oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Oh, for some reason, a lot of these, like, little Game & Watch McDonald's toys have like the characters like like holding it up to you and all I can think of is that picture of Mario holding Ween. Also fucking I I, I don't like what, what does Princess Peach's face look like that? There's two game modes. The game modes are represented as game A and game B which are both just difficulty levels. Game B is harder and Basically, the game is about Princess Toadstool running towards her castle, and basically while she's running towards her castle, there are Koopa Troopers uh, in the middle, left and right of her, that she needs to, you know, dodge by going to the left or right. And I guess every time she succeeds in, do in dodging a line of Koopa Troopas, she gets 10 points, and you can get up to 9,990 points. I, I, I don't know why you would play this game long enough to get that far. I feel like if you, if you, did that you would be like fucked up. Occasionally a toad will come from the left side of the screen. If the player collides with the toad they'll get 30 points and I guess you can also escort the toads to like another toad on the right side of the screen and you'll get another 50 points. If you escort him to the right side of the screen three times the 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 you you can you can get the bonus castle to appear in the right. Whoa! This is actually really cool. Um, it kind of is like a little bit of like a slot game where if you press the right button, um, it cycles between one and nine. And then if you press the button again, it selects whatever number it's on. You know, like like a basic like dice game and Mario Party or whatever the fuck. If you like hit like nine, you're gonna get 90 points. If you hit eight, you'll get 80 points. It's multiplied by 10. And that's basically the game. It's just a high score, endless runner, basically. Honestly, I feel like this is a pretty cool piece of Princess Peach history. It's like, this is her first instance that like she was the first, the, the only playable character. This is like her fucking video game. And unlike Super Princess Peach, this game doesn't have Mario in it. This is just Princess Peach and Toad and you know, you, you could even say, you know, maybe this game is uh, a prequel to, prequel to Mario Bros, you know? Like maybe this is like canonically the very first game in the Mario series. <laughs> You ever think of that, hmm? Anyway, that's um, all I have for today. I wish that I had better footage of the game to show you. Um, I will be on the lookout for it. 
And if anyone out there, like, has this game or something, um, let me know, like, either in the comments or, like, on, like, my Twitter or Tumblr or something, like, I would, I'd, like, I'd love to see this game in action and maybe, like, a higher quality or whatever, because I, I think it's really cool. Anyway, um, hope you guys are having, uh, doing good, and, uh, I'll, I'll probably make a video in, like, another, like, 18 months. Bye! <laughs>